Welcome to Staff Reacts. We are going to react to another episode of Roast This. But before we get into that, did you know your daily facts of the day? Your daily facts of the day says Wally Amos is responsible for making more than just cookies famous. I didn't know that, but now you do. Let's go. <laughs> All the way around today. Uh, it's fun. I don't know why it's flickering green. It's probably on their end, okay? So please be a be advised. Be advised. Did they use that word correctly? I don't think so. But please know that it isn't me, okay? Roast this. It's going to be another episode we are going to enjoy. So, I wonder who is going to have the best <laughs> of the night. Bam, boom, <laughs> bing! We are back with another episode of Roast This. I'm your host, Brandon Lewis, but I'm never by myself. I'm always with my brethren. Bam, 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 bam. I ain't even, I ain't even, hold on, I ain't even kicking off right, man. Welcome to Roast This, the comedic podcast where we talk about everything in the culture. I'm your host, Brandon Lewis. I'm not by myself. I always got my counter co parts starting from the bottom to the top, all the way from Detroit, Michigan, where they say Diddy. Y'all give it up for Chris. <laughs> hey, hey, what up, hey. What up though? <laughs> my bad, baby. But what we say, what up, though, my baby? <laughs> what up, though, my baby? What up, though, my baby? And uh, word, right though? above me, all the way from Houston, Texas. Y'all give it up with Billy Sorrells, a.k.a. Billow. What yeah. it do? God damn me, we're up. We in this motherfucker once again. Yeah. Once again, once yeah, again. We up in the dick. What's in it? Shout out to that, man. Right above CP, all the way from Atlanta, Georgia. My dog is always blessed as fuck. You can get all the merch that he's rocking on. Official, blessedaf.com. Y'all give it up for Ronnie. Jordan, what's up, man? Hey, all the fat boys, uh, it's cankle season. What's up? You know that's not you know cankle. That? Cank it's this cankle season. All the fat, all the fat, all the fat, fat, fat dudes. Cankle season is happening. Don't be uh, shamed. Pull them out. I just want to get your diabetes socks together. <laughs> and right above, right, right above Ronnie, last but not least, you can follow him and watch you him that? every morning on YouTube.com slash I am Doughboy TV from Sacramento, California. Y'all give it up for Anthony Doughboy Belcha. What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Doughboy, your baby mama. She know, boy. We lit. Let's get it. Uh, Let's get it, my boy. I felt like and last but not least, <laughs> the guy that's never seen but always in between. Y'all give it up for my nigga Kadeem. What's up? Hey. Hey. Happy Tuesday, y'all. We back in your thing. Back hey, in your thing. Hey, What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Man. How y'all doing? Man. How, was, how was the weekend? How was the weekend for all y'all? It was great, man. It was good. It was yeah. good. I was in Washington, mm. D.C. where they were saying everybody. I, I, I'm back saying everything and everybody. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, man. hey, Red Grant, hey, Red Grant, really running from there, man. Shout out to Red Grant. Yeah, shout is to Red he for Grant. real? That's a real thing? <laughs> that's a real thing. That's what really happened. Huh? That's, a, wait, wait, that's a real thing. That's a real thing. Yep. Yeah, shout he was doing that snap. Like, shout he's out really to him. running, bro. Shout out to him. That's crazy. Shout, shout out, out to him. Grant, man. That shit was yeah. kind of iron, bro. Hey, shout right. out to my son, man. My six-year-old Clark just graduated kindergarten this week. I know. Ain't no real big deal, but it's a big deal. You will know when this shit. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. He uh he won he won best comedian in his class. He got a, he yeah. got a I was like, yeah. that's what I'm talking about. That's that's good right there, man. Congratulations, baby. Yeah, yeah shout man. out to Clark. I, man. I already started going to junior high school. Left yeah. fifth grade. Okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, oh, grow. 
Middle school. Ooh, that's a big yeah. transition. Ooh, shout out and, and shout out to my daughter. She got her uh, wisdom teeth pulled this weekend. I know that's not a huge deal, <laughs> oh, but it that, it's, it's, it's like my daughter. Just uh, stuff like my daddy. Huh? <laughs> stuff like my daddy. She did this. <laughs> <laughs> she got she got all four of them. She but she got them took out like a champ. She was cool. She she took it like a gangster, so she all good. That's a lot of two pulling dough boy that's going on at your address. I just want to let you know that right now. <laughs> Root canal, <laughs> you know what y'all know. That Joe Boy's wisdom teeth, those are some of his favorite Skittle teeth. Like all his Skittles for <laughs> MPs first. That was his main Skittle teeth. <laughs> they didn't even hit the same number after that. It was his main fit <laughs> for Skittles. Now you got a space for storage. <laughs> <laughs> little compartment, little compartment. Yeah, it's full, baby. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> I, I want to advertise again. If you are on Amazon, they got all the He Man toys out there and Thundercats right now. All the toys hey, you didn't hey. get as a kid, fourteen dollars, bro. It'll it's be a reason why they didn't buy you that shit as a kid, Billy. The niggas in his draw, they were trying to save you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I need, this need, is childhood need. dreams. <laughs> hey, hey, listen, I, hey, listen, it's going down over here. I got Skeletor and He Man. So it's, it's going down. That was the nakedest male cartoon that ever had graced <laughs> the damn screen. He man, yeah, like, man. Well, what, 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 what happened to He Man, man? Damn. <laughs> hey, what's y'all? What's y'all number one cartoon from back in the day? Man, uh, number one. If you can only pick one, Thundercats. Oh, yeah, good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. I think I'll take. I think I'll take it. Take it. Dragon Ball, man. Okay. Z. Uh, I'm CP Wendell, my favorite cartoon has to be Dragon Ball for, th- for true. I enjoy Dragon Ball. When I when I became a fan is that my uncle used to watch it. And I never understood what it really was, but as I as I continued to watch it, it really got good. And for some odd reason, they just stopped putting it on TV. It never was seen on TV for a little bit. And the episodes, they never showed, like, the upcoming episodes, they always showed reruns. So what I actually did is that I went on YouTube and I actually watched the whole thing from the start all the way to the, at the time, the Boo Saga. So it was really, really interesting. I was that deep of a fan Then you know. After the Boo Saga, you had the Cell Saga, then, you know, whatever have you, the filler episodes, I watch all the movies and everything, then I watch Super, oh, I am a big fan. I haven't really re- re-watched any of the um old episodes again, but I probably have to check it out whenever I have time, but Dragon Ball Super is one of my favorite all time. I wouldn't even call it a cartoon, it's not... It's not like a cartoon to me. I don't know what to call it. BT, regular, like just the whole universe, bro. I fuck with Dragon Ball, bro. Dope, I, think I'm, I think I'm taking Heathcliff. Heathcliff I know like who a, Heathcliff is. That's, that's like <laughs> Garfield drunk cousin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there was some al- there was some alley cats. The biggest was hood. <laughs> that's, that's Garfield. Heathcliff was hard, nigga. Yeah, he you, ain't, ain't no, you ain't have no cable. That was PBS right there. <laughs> and she came on after the Africa uh, safari. Yeah, he, <laughs> Heathcliff had it. the worst luck ever, dog. It was a rough ass cat, dog. Yeah, he, he had Mungo with him. Yeah, Riff Raff. It was lit, man. Niggas was. Then the nigga used to eat lasagna, or was that? Yeah. No, that's Garfield. Garfield. Bones out the trash can. It was like fish <laughs> bones. He did eat fish bones. That's it. I take a, a, I take a Ducktales. Ducktales was Dallas. lit. Duck you go, was you lit. can watch it. You can watch Scrooge McDuck. Ducktales cartoon was hey, lit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Scrooge you you must have gone with the whole Duck universe because I feel like it was Ducktales. It was uh, Huey, Dewey, and Louie had their own little shit. Yep. Dark yeah. and Duck. Dark and Duck hit. off of that. He was their cousin. Yeah, I'm gonna know. watch. I'm gonna watch them on Disney Plus. I finally got hey, Disney Plus. No, they got Chippendale Rescue Rangers on Disney Plus. I've been watching with my kids for two days. Now, yeah. Chippendale, oh, the new shit. Is lit. New shit? Yeah. The old shits is up, and new they got the new bad. movie. The movie is out. The new yeah, movie, movie is out. So movie just dropped. Stuff. Yeah, they dropped the old stuff. Like Belu, Belu, Belu. What's your number one uh, cartoon? My number one cartoon. All time. Would, all time. I would have to say that's impactful to me. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Doug. Oh, 
Why? Doug I'm was fired. Doug too. was fired. From Nick? Are you, talk, are you talking Nick Doug or Disney Doug? Because there's two different Dugs. I'm not sure if you know Nick he's straight. Nick, for sure. Nick, Nick, Disney, Nick, 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 don't talk about Disney Doug because he's the worst. Nick Doug is that guy. Disney Doug, when, they, when Disney bought him, it went, it went to shit. So you about Doug with that big ass nose. Look like Ross from yeah. Frank. Yeah, Skeeter. Skeeter <laughs> enough. Yeah, Stacey Patty Mayonnaise, whatever. Patty Mayonnaise, yep. Yeah. Shout out to him. Yeah, that's a good, good one. God damn no, it. Was fine, oh, that's yeah. before Bills was around. Remember before Bills? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Hey, I remember that cartoon they had Michael Jordan and uh, Wayne Gretzky. The All-Stars. All-Stars. The All-Stars. Yeah. Yeah. I never saw that. I never saw that. Yeah. You got to get up early for that one, baby. That came on at like 8, 8.30, 9 o'clock. Yeah. Y'all remember yeah. it, was like, it, was like, it was like Bo Jackson, Kid and Michael Jordan, and Wayne Gretzky. Fire. Kid, yeah, they yeah. had a cartoon. Kid and Play had one, and Hammer had one, too. Hammer name was Hammer 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 Mike Tyson. Mike Tyson had a cartoon. He did. That was new. That, that was like that was years ago. Oh, that the was Mike Tyson mysteries. Yeah. Okay. He didn't hey, have Rug, one. Hey, Rugrats was. He said that shit like like he grew up on it, man. Remember Mike Tyson? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't. Oh. Bilu mentioned Rugrats. That was epic too. Uh, I remember the movie for that. If I remember, it's good. Um, Tommy brother. I think what the movie was, man. I forgot, man. But I remember when Chucky was sad because he didn't have a mummy. And at the time, I think that was supposed to be a stepmom. She comforted him or something like that. Someone gotta let me know in the comments. I don't recall, though. But it's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a long, long time. If we're doing recent cartoons, the Boondocks might be Hall of Fame already. Just no, I'm Rick taking Morty. Hey, I'm taking I'm taking Family Guy over Boondocks. No, ain't no nah. way. Family no. Guy is fire. Family, Family Guy got a lot of more like like years on on Boondocks. Yeah, Boondocks they do, they got do, three yeah. or four seasons. Family, like yeah. Family, Family Guy's guy been around. It's power, it's power by white white privilege. Is <laughs> It's probably by yeah. time. We like the, it had longer runway. It had longer time to fuck up. Like y'all exactly. had 15, 20 years. Right. right. To, you know. I'm gonna let you know right now. The chat going crazy with the, with their favorite cartoons. I got to give a few shout outs to like Dexter's Lab. We got Recess. Oh, Rocco's okay. Modern Life. Okay. Uh, Jet the Jackie Chan show was pretty fire. What about Cat Dog. Remember Cat Dog? Cat Dog was pretty cool. Cat Dog. Right. 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 <laughs> Inspector Gadget was hard. Inspector Gadget was hard. Yep. Uh. uh we should we do this at all? All right, Transformers. Transformers and GI Joe. Yeah. Transformers and GI Joe was, was boy GI Joe. GI Joe was hard. Did you guys? Did you guys? Did y'all fuck with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon? Hell yeah, yeah. That shit was hard. That shit was hard. Yeah, that's when uh. That's when you had the, the whole family go to the movies to see the Ninja Turtle movies when they was back when they was out back then, bro. That was a I bitch. I don't know who this is from Ninja Turtles. Hold on. Ah. Uh oh, he got Master Splinter in there for real. Uh, <laughs> 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 you, be, yeah. you wonder why Master Splinter just won't beat everybody ass? Like, why are you down here? Won't you help out, niggas? <laughs> well, well, I guess that one, I, I'm gonna put this on the screen. So I guess we we, we first gonna talk about we're gonna talk about this this right here. We 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 this this what we doing? Oh shit! Oh, this wow. what we doing? Easy, the easy match. The Miguel, the Miguel, y'all know You know what I mean? Me, me, uh, I'll get it. Kanye West is actually redesigning uh, McDonald's uh, packaging. Wow! Okay. So get this the diabetes is, in us quicker. Great. It's just so stupid. Like I get it. I get that that Kanye is a genius and he's dope at a lot of shit. But this is just overkill for me. Like, who the fuck cares? What a burger box looks like. We care about what's in the box, not the outside of it. Hey. And what, like, and this is peddling this shit, the most healthiest shit to the culture. I'm not. This is a thumbs down for me. I ain't fucking with this. Shit. And real quick, real quick, why Doughboy is uh, expressing how he. I feels. don't mind it though. It's just why, a box. Hold on, hold on, real quick. Uh, real quick, right now we are cutting the YouTube stream. So if you're watching this right now, and on, on Facebook, platform, YouTube and Facebook, we cut. On YouTube and Facebook. Yes, sir. YouTube and Facebook, my apologies. YouTube, YouTube. and Facebook, or just Facebook. Up, no, both of them. You're right. YouTube okay, and okay. Facebook. So yeah. if you're watching this right now on the platforms, YouTube and Facebook, we are cutting it right now. So go to your app. Go to your app on your laptop or your iPhone. Go to the app store. Download Caffeine. 
then go to the search, search all depth, follow us and watch right now. And also, if you're watching this podcast right now on Caffeine, follow each and every comedian that is right now on your screen at Big Bang Lewis, at Billy Sorrells, at I Am Doughboy, at Ronnie Jordan, at Comedian CP or at ZP, I think. What is it, CP? Is it CP? At Comedian CP. At Comedian CP. Follow us right now. We should get a total of at least five people per person to follow us right now because it's over a thousand people watching right now. So let's get that number up. So follow right, yo, right now about this. on YouTube and Facebook. Yeah, back to Doughboy. Yeah, I'm about to drop the yeah, link in, the, in like... YouTube right now. Go ahead. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, I just feel like it's over, Carol. I just feel like, nigga, like, you know, where's the album at? Like, you want to charge us $200 for that album, so barely nobody got it. Now you want to go design burger boxes for McDonald's? Like, uh, I'm, uh, I'm not excited about it. Leave this nigga alone. God damn. No. Niggas designing the burger box. Before him, it was a white man designing the burger box. Fuck them. It's a new burger box. That bitch. Nobody. It's, no, it's, that's a box, yeah. Hey, don't bro, like you want to press me, put some seasoning on the box. So I can see what I'm going to put like. Right. I want to eat the box. Hey, don't yeah. so like, don't fuck with the big man. That's all I have. But be honest. But be honest. If if, if you see a, a like a fresh swagged out box, is that going to make you be like, oh, yeah, I want a burger? Or you yeah, going to just be like, yeah, yeah. nothing's going to stop be you from eating it, though, boy. Nothing's going to stop you from eating it. You know? Be honest. Be honest. <laughs> Be honest. If Dobo was in the wheelchair, would the wheelchair need a wheelchair? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I don't. I don't feel like it brings anything of value to this. Like nobody cares about the outfit of the burger. I I care. I, I care that white. He he doesn't got these white folks to give for some more money. And I feel like it strides and it gives us something to strive for. I can. I too can design burger packaging. Like. We thought we could just take it to being fat. We, could, I want to be fat and rich too. Like, let me. Can I? Can I get in on this? Can we design some more shit? They could have made the bitch a circle. We could. We could just roll it. You can make it portable. They but could the also head. take the box away and do it like uh, in and out. Do and just had a motherfucker folded with a little napkin around that motherfucker. I like that. You know what That's I'm saying he's selling swag right now. He letting niggas know that you can sell you the sauce. Like whatever the fuck I touch, um, I can get y'all to pay for it and watch. So. This can be done again. That this is. Hey, I feel that. Method. I feel that. Okay. You I need to put them monopoly coupons on the top. Remember when you when you when you pull it and you win some. That's when. That's when yeah. the box is good. It's you gonna, gonna be more than that. It's gonna be a QR code for some exclusive, and you gonna be like, "Oh shit, I gotta have it." Now nah, I fuck with that. You know what I'm saying? So like, I'm, why why do y'all even care, bro? The niggas designing the burger box. It's this is kind of a bad picture of it. If, if we could get a clearer picture of it, then yeah, I got you. I'll get, I'll get a better one right now. I got you because it looks like the elements of the burger are just kind of like on the side, like lettuce patty. I'm like, bro, like nigga, god damn, people just love to hate on this man, dog. The nigga yeah, is I'm, designing. I'm, I'm, well, hey, man, I'm hating on this one, man. I just feel like it's goofy. Okay. I just feel like... Well, we understand hey, you, go boy. You, you, hey. sit on the, you sit on the board of fries. <laughs> <laughs> you literally... <laughs> I'm just saying, or, or how about this? Kanye is so impactful to the culture. How about if you are going to design some shit for some food, why not have it be some healthy food, some fucking green juice, some hey, shit listen, like man. that? Go to job. Go to job with you. Oh boy, I bet, not, I, bet not, I bet not ever oh, catch you. Subway. Subway. Everybody Subway. listening around the country, if you work at if you work at McDonald's, do not sell this man a Big Mac. <laughs> he is not one of y'all. He is <laughs> not one of y'all. Goddamn addict is what he is. Goddamn, he, he can, is. I, I hear he Jumbo can, Juice, but it ain't Ralph though. It I'm just saying, it ain't, it ain't one billion sold though. He could do. He could do Subway. He could do something healthier for the culture. This is irresponsible for the culture. But if no, you can do something healthier each... for the culture. <laughs> what? You can I do know something it. healthier for the culture, too. <laughs> no, 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 your hairline is irresponsible. <laughs> I ain't never seen a fat nigga shit on a big mat like that, man. This is insane. Yeah, I'm just voicing the chat talking about this is a San Andreas burger. It do look like a San Andreas burger. I'm not going to front. It do like look like a GTS like San Andreas piece. burger. It look like a Lego piece. <laughs> Wait a minute. It do look like a meta burger. Now that you think about it, it's like a meta burger. It's a burger. Meta burger. It's a like big look, listen, the box don't look bad. I, I say the box look bad. I'm just mad that he did. No, no, no. Don't get hungry now. No, no. Metal burger. As soon as I see a metal burger, I'm like, that sound kind of fire. A metal burger with some mustard. No, nigga, you can't have one. It looks like something like some you grab when your health is low in a video game. It do. <laughs> it really yeah. do. 
That bitch got a whole well, CD hey, inside. On man. PlayStation Two, though. Yeah, on PS2. <laughs> that's how the memes be on game hey, day. Bro, I, ain't, I, ain't, man, I, ain't, I ain't been on the five in a minute, bro. I'm gonna get on tonight. I ain't been on my nigga, five. Well, I, nigga, I'm on my five every day, and I threw a heat sink in my bitch. I'm just letting y'all know. We're gonna, we're gonna get some gaming back up and running. I'm just letting you know. It's some 2K, some Madden. We're gonna be gaming on here yeah. so we can talk some shit. Hey, niggas don't want those. Wait till I'm gonna get me a five, and then I want all the smoke on hey, Madden. Shut up. Talk about don't nobody want no smoke, nigga. <laughs> we no already smoke. got fives. Nigga. Let's play on the play, let's play me on the four though. You can see me. No, see me on the four. Why would I, why would the, I come to the past? See me on the quad. Hold on, meet me on the quattro. Meet me on the quattro. I want to say play me on Super Nintendo, nigga. Come on, pull up. Let's play, <laughs> let's play Super Smash Brothers on 64. All right, nigga, I'm going to give me a piece. Yeah, come to my mama's house in the basement. Watch what happens. Yeah, gotta, you got to hey, you gotta hook it up to the, the TV with the wires. You remember the wire, the wire shit? You gotta yeah, yeah. Yellow, red, red, and, red and, white. and white. Oh, no. I'm talking, about, I'm talking about before the plugs, it was a little cold. Oh, little, little, the RFU. Little, the little the, uh, radio frequency shit. Yeah. 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 Nintendo, yeah. The first Nintendo shit. Yep. Yep. That's that first. Yeah. I'm about to, I'm no about to, you don't want any smoke if you need it. You, it's been two years since the PS5 came out. You don't have one, bro. You officially. They hella hard to, they hella hard to get. No, they not. Hard to get? Nah. They still are hard to get. Can I tell you how to get one? Can I tell you how to get one? Y'all yeah. ready? Y'all ready? Go yeah. to Best Buy, go to Best Buy, spend two hundred dollars and become a, a total tech member of Best Buy. What that's gonna do is anything you buy from Best Buy is gonna give you a service plan off top. So the two hundred gonna pay for itself automatically if you shop at Best Buy, like I do. But then also you get first dibs when they get shipments before they blast it off to people. You get first dibs to know. Do that, nigga. You, you had your PS five in like three weeks. <coughs> No saying that was some real game. That's a game. That's a game. Do it again and flip that bitch for seven hundred. <laughs> now you now now you selling dope. Now, now you everybody got walkie talkies. Everybody got walkie talkies. Now you in the dope game. You say what? Now everybody got next tail chirps in the hood. What we doing? Do you what feel me? Next tail, bro. It just disappeared. No, the next got people, better. People was using it without no side what? tube, and 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 the chirp was <laughs> echoing around their mouth. So they had chirp somebody. And then they wouldn't hear it. And then when you go to talk, the chirp come out your mouth. People were chirping people been this way. So they said we're gonna stop it. So everybody get all that. their teeth. That was the first. That was the first speakerphone. When the, that was when we first got inappropriate in, in Kroger and grocery stores. Just so wait, they don't make next tail no more. No, no, they said, they, no, they, no, they no. I heard they're about to bring them back. They're about the to bring them back. Hey, one more time. Anymore. One more time. One more time, Bilu. What you say? So they don't make next tail no more. All right, John. On the. PlayStation 5 talk the PS5. I don't have one. I'm not I'm not ashamed to say I don't have one. I don't have one yet. In the future I do hope to get one. And I do plan on just learning how to play games again. I haven't played played a console game in so long that I really really if I if I were to play now, I'm trash to be honest. I'm trash. So I really have to get in the flow of playing games. And learning it and stuff like that but um i don't have one as yet i do plan on getting one in the future when the time is right though i'm trying to send somebody to the tension man you know he was trying <laughs> 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 we gotta go uh, stand uh, uh, to the <laughs> Hey, 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 Cause uh, cause cause Ronnie kept chirping rallies, and they was like, "This is that's not what it's for." <laughs> <laughs> he trying to chirp rallies, but he get there, so he, hey. he can skip the line. Hey. Like, sir, you know, chirping us? Who gave you our number? How you chirping our landline? This nigga was chirping their landline. Like, <laughs> I had a plug on fries. I was getting the frozen fries out the back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> back. Double cheese. I'll be up there thirteen minutes. <laughs> <laughs> strawberry shake, strawberry shake. Oh, oh I yeah. heard, I heard about this. I heard yeah, about. Yeah, this. Hold on, hold on. Oh, hold did on. you? Oh, did you, Doughboy? Hold on. Doughboy, Doughboy read about this in the newspaper next to the Heathcliff cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, he's he not ready at all. You see his hands? Yeah. So, so bro, I'll break this down. Apparently, I didn't even know. I didn't, I learned just just literally thirty like thirty seconds ago about really what happened. There was an ex NFL player who got into it with. uh 
a United Airlines worker, and uh, it, it didn't work out for him. I think I got the full video. Let me make sure I got the full video, video right from here. Newark Airport. Police are now investigating a disturbing video showing a violent altercation involving a former NFL oh. player and an airline worker. And what we've now learned about the United oh, 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 oh. employee tonight. Here's he ABC's Will Reeve. Put him on some skates. Tonight, United Airlines telling ABC News it fired this employee at Newark Airport after investigating and reviewing viral video showing him fighting a passenger, Ooh, former NFL yeah, player yeah. Brendan Langley. Sources tonight telling ABC News it all started when that employee asked for a wheelchair that Langley was using to carry his luggage. The situation quickly escalating, Ooh, the two whoa. exchanging blows. Oh, At one point, Langley oh, knocked the agent over. Put him on a conveyor. gets up and continues to fight. Langley. Woo. Hey, hey, hey. So, hey, so how about this? this? Can I say this? Yes. Mind your fucking business, even if you at work. If your name is not United, you don't own a fucking airlines, nigga. Shut up. Yes. Shut up. And it's 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 two things about this. First of all, if the the employee was in the wrong and this shit shouldn't have happened, he and he got punched and he got he deserved that shit. But I don't know if y'all heard about this. Alec yeah, Baldwin. By the way. Yeah, Alec Baldwin was condemning the football player, saying, "Oh, he should the murderer." That, but, Yes, exactly. I'm like, nigga, you a whole you shooter a out there. Yes, yes, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's crazy. You got to shut up. Alec got to shut, gotta the, shut the fuck up, up for real. No one know rule number one about movies. Nigga, it's pretend. How the fuck you bring real guns to the pretend set? This nigga about real pistol up there. He's tripping on his nigga. Uh, he done slid on the ops at Crafty. Yeah, Adam's acting like he ain't wiped that man's nose like that, man. Come on, Adam. <laughs> what you was doing? Hey, look. You know, wait, bro, bro, hey, bro, 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 he slid on the ops at where? He slid on the ops at Crafty. That nigga was like... <laughs> <laughs> He was like, oh, shit, oh, oh, oh. Hey, hey, Ronnie, oh. put, a, put a bagel in that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Adam Baldwin shot that lady and did like this. <laughs> hey, but on the real hey, though, hey, man, on the real though, though, respect to that lady's family. Respect buddy. to her family, but God this damn, nigga got to shut up. Hey, how, 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 how Alec Baldwin out and Gunner can't get no bond? That's crazy. You see what you see what America doing? Yeah. 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 If Gunner name was Alec, maybe he'd be straight. You know his name is Sergio. His real name is Sergio. Hey, Kadeem, put yeah, up the yeah. put up the video. That dude look like that white boy on Impractical Jokers, don't it? <laughs> the, the white boy. It yeah, like that nigga the roast in that nigga say he he he's, uh, he look like the impractical joker dude. Yeah, he do. He really he look really look like do. no boy. Oh, like hey Kadeem, you gotta go back. You gotta show him swinging first. The white dude swung first. He no, put that, that nigga. The white dude. Hey, the plot twist is the black dude swung first. He did. He, if you no, watch the full he video, slapped nah, he, yeah. slapped the he slapped him. He slapped him. He slapped him first. Black dude swung first. Nah, no, he no he said he swung second. He dude slapped him. He slapped him. He, he, the white dude slapped him. He said, no, right, there, right, there, right there. Go, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Go back, go back. Go back. The white go back. dude slapped him first. He slapped the him first. The white dude was like, the, the black dude said, Y'all seen him. Even before he hit him, he said, y'all Yeah, y'all seen, seen him. Hold on, let me, find, let me go ahead and find That's that for you. You know you finna fuck somebody just, up. Were you making it? Hey, everybody saw that, right? Yeah, well, you have a proper representation on exactly how it went down. Because, I mean, the United Airlines, he did get fired. He got fired for this. But they arrested the black dude, too, didn't they? Nah, yeah, know. he got an assault. Simple assault, but shit. But he got hit. Hey, I bet you he get paid to go to the goddamn uh celebrity fighting shit. I bet you they put somebody in there with his head. Hey, he hit that nigga with a Rico, didn't he? That nigga flew all the way. To <laughs> <laughs> hey, he, he put that. He put that nigga. Belt. Your belt, you put, take your bags to the back of the thing. Put that nigga in baggage claim. <laughs> For real. If that nigga, if that nigga would have, if that nigga would have landed on the uh, on the turn belt, that's. <laughs> This nigga did. This nigga yeah. hit him with a good right. <laughs> yeah, work, work, work his ass out. He bro. hit him in Jesus' name right there. That was for all the ancestors right there. Like, oh, we get a free one. Yeah. And you, you can tell. We, hey, you oh. know how when you play a football and somebody like jump off sides and pay the man to be like, oh hell yeah, like, nigga, <laughs> nigga just run a fly route. Just, 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 Hey, bitch, hey, you better go, goddamn. Hey, 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 Ronnie, what, 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 what Peyton say? Peyton said, oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he see a nigga jump, we'd be like, oh, oh yeah. He just throw that bitch to X, nigga. Hey, I'm launch it. I'm throwing it up there. It don't even matter. Hey, you can, and you can tell the United employee, you can tell he been hitting some mitts at like a Muay Thai gym, the way he's like set up. 
But he didn't know, like, nigga, the pads don't hit back. So, nigga, that's why he got his ass dropped. This nigga got like, hit right after his morning coffee. He pooed it a little bit after that. He got there. That motherfucker got hit behind the goddamn kiosk that's going to replace him anyway. That nigga just said, come at me, bro. Come at me, bro. <laughs> Ain't got his shit works. He Come at me, bro. He probably I wonder what the scale said when he went down. The scale. <laughs> he did it started. Be- it started beeping. It started beeping and shit. Two twenty five. The scale said, "I came down." <laughs> I came down. Hey, you know, you know it was. Down. Hey, you know it was hella. You know it was hella awkward in the lunchroom after that shit when that nigga came up in there and they was looking at that nigga like, "God damn." That nigga sitting there leaking his shit. Ooh. <laughs> that, nigga, that nigga had to wait on his ride after this. That's some bullshit. You got, got knocked out. You sitting there like this. I'm waiting no, wait no fucking cabin. And then he got fired. He got yeah. fired too. He got, I mean, he's leaking. If y'all can see that. Oh, he's he's like, he's he's leaking. Leaking. Yeah, he, he got leaked. leaked. He leaking. Buddy got, a, buddy got some blood pressure issues. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what's worse getting knocked out or getting knocked out in a short sleeve dress shirt, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and dude was dude was half his size. Oh my god! Dude was man. half his size, bro. That French, shit is uh, French, uh, French Fantana. <laughs> <laughs> my friend, uh, my friend. He looked like that uh, boy a little bit though. French he looked like this. That looked like the white dog. Uh, <laughs> French Peach Fanta. That's what it is. The French Peach Fanta. No, <laughs> like man. Fresca. Fresca. So, so, uh-oh. That's French toast. That's French toast. Hey, Billy, Billy, ask me, Billy, ask me, Billy. Hey, 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 what, what time is it? It's time to put a second switch. Stop it. So, hey, we're going to jump into a little bit more violence, man. I mean, it's we're going to jump right into this a little bit more, right? <laughs> the situation. We didn't talk about We really didn't talk about it here too much, did we? I don't think we talked about it too much here, did we? Um, this one. I mean... I mean, that, I mean, that's hey, that boy. He got, he got his issue. That's he definitely got his issue. I wonder, I wonder if they messed his hair up or did he just was it a bad? Okay, I may have to, I may have to skip this part if they show any, you know, any other thing that is too graphic. I may have to, but we'll see. Bad day for him. I feel like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, let me, let me just go ahead. Yeah, let me go ahead and read exactly what he says. Uh, Anybody I think, in those kind of hoodies with those kind of letters, they need yeah. to go to jail. I just see that dude who break dance me on the old videos. Doom, 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 He how did they can turn their arms like that? He gonna, he gonna do like this shit in a minute. Like that's what he looked like. So who, I, who, oh. whoever doesn't know what happened, obviously this is the man who attacked Dave Chappelle on on stage. His name is Isaiah Lee. Uh, he said he had been to attacking Chappelle over triggering jokes about homelessness, pedophilia, and the LGBTQ community. That's the reason why he did it. I'm sure we all kind of knew that, but I just, I, I mean, it's the idea that, I mean, I, shout out to Tony Baker. He put it the best way. They ripped this man's arm off and then put it back in. Like, that's that's what it looked like to me. Every time I see this photo, I'm like, they ripped this man's arm off and then put it back on. They didn't reattach this nigga's arm, man. Plot and they should. Hey, hold on. Plot twist. This nigga head on backwards. That's what we looking at. <laughs> <laughs> I just, just want to hear that uh, that TikTok sound. So this is the story about this is what happened, guys. <laughs> now, I think it's I, I think it's ridiculous that he feels that just because he was offended that he could attack somebody and try to cause them bodily harm. And and he already has some shit going on because he just got charged with attempted murder for some shit that happened in December. He yep. tried to kill it. He tried to kill his roommate. Yeah, I know his roommate yeah. was like, "Hell yeah, bro! Fucking, we so hate that guy." He already hey, has some issues going look, on. Is this really a? Is this really a girl? No, no. no. Are they oh, no. So this wasn't a transgender. No, he just was, supported that community. He supported like, the community. He looked like a, yeah. like a beat up Miguel. He sent him a message saying, "It's fucked up what they did to you." <laughs> they, put, they put him on the cover of the Ghetto Boys album so fast on the internet that they just pitched hey, man. They had that nigga between Willie D and Scarface so fucking fast. Hey, he was Bushwick. He had him in there like he was Bushwick Bill. They put hey, a phone hey, in his hand. Look, look at the left side of his head. Look at that lump. You don't even see the lump up top. You can see where his regular forehead is at, but then look at the lump. 
he looked like he been he like Tommy Hearns visited him, boy. Hold on, I was just yeah, I was, so obviously this is what Chappelle probably looked at, at how he looked at him when he left my my <laughs> my, my man because he. <laughs> First of all, why didn't they got his damn backpack strapped in the middle? Get this shit off the screen. This goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> Dave Chappelle is slow. I don't know. Hey, Kadeem, why, you like got, why you got Dave Chappelle thirst trap pictures in your phone? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. It's just, hey, that's just for the podcast, man. This is for the cast. Yeah, 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 right, right. you know? right. <laughs> nah, like, y'all check. Could be like, y'all check this out, honey. This shit is. <laughs> this shit is. <laughs> this shit is you, baby. You ain't gonna believe this. You ain't not gonna believe this. $40. No, boy. This one, I'm glad you ain't ran up in Taco Bell uh, corporate headquarters yeah. when I made a Mexican piece. I'm glad you handled it the right way. Hey, man, I had to. It took everything in me. It took everything yeah, I already in me. I know. And you handled it the right way, man. You see what can happen. <laughs> It's back, but it ain't as good as it was when it left. I had like. Your mind. We had I three had, of them bitches on the weekend. I had oh, two. Oh, th- yeah, yeah. I, 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 <laughs> he looked like he finna say, "Y'all believe what these nigga did to me today?" <laughs> oh man, that nigga, he got to look at his watch like this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look my. Over, just look over your shoulders, honey, and check your watch. So we got, uh, I mean, we got a few more topics to get. To. We got a few more. Y'all just go ahead and move over this one. This, this situation is a little bit older. It just finally came out. He admits the reason why he hey, did man. it. Can I say yeah. something? At least yeah. Sadiq dropped a dope ass special, man. Domino effect. That motherfucker go hard. Go check it out. At least yeah. Sadiq. YouTube. Yeah. It's on YouTube right on now. YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Check that out. Yeah, he sure. did an independent, man. HBO Max kind of tripped on him because he said something on Joe Rogan. But we should be allowed to say what we want to say. This motherfucker think he can say what he want to say. Is you see Wait, what whoa, 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 whoa. HBO Max tripped on him like what? They tripping he on said, He said on, uh, he told me on Joe Rogan, he said he don't think gay people should have kids. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I was like, That'll do it, you know. That'll That'll way, do it. Do it. Wait, 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 what? But, uh, but he should be able to say that shit and not have be penalized. Wait, who what, said what? that? Uh, Ali did. Yeah, but you know he put it out in the uh, that, 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 Your opinion is your opinion. Though. I don't understand why they're taking away it. Because it, it, it ain't no such thing as freedom of speech no more. They're gonna try but, to. It's gonna like, try to hang think, you. I don't think. I don't think dogs should be on the bed. Facts. This is my opinion. Facts. People who put their dogs on the bed can cancel me. For that opinion, I, and we don't stop the bullshit. Like, hey, hey, I'm, we are in the DIB community, dogs in the bed community, and we said, you know what I'm saying? It's like, nigga. I, I feel personally, like, I, oh, go ahead. I personally think white girls are ruining their force ones, but I haven't tweeted about it. Haven't you done feel like it. who? White girls, they are dogging the shit out of these Air Force Ones. <laughs> and it just hurts <laughs> like like right. It. It's so hard to find now, and y'all doing this to these motherfuckers. Like, I just feel like I feel like comedy should be the safe haven where everybody could get these jokes. Everybody should just be like, we're all gonna get these jokes. None, because I've been getting fat jokes forever. Like, who cares? Like, every just take your joke when it's time to take your joke. If yeah, a nigga joking on you, because we all got fucking deficiencies. But when a straight like, man has something to say, sometimes like, yeah. and why are we talking about that? Why are we talking about that, dope? I want to tell you that that goddamn picture looked like you had a stroke in it right there, dog. For clarity's sake, I'm going to put you on the big screen. <laughs> I must say, dope boy, know how to take a joke. I really appreciate that about him because a lot of people that come on roast me and roast this, if they have gas and everything, they don't handle the. Uh, the roast good and you can actually see it on their face. They tend to show it. So I do appreciate that Doe Boy is able to do that. <laughs> so we can see what he's talking about. For clarity. He looked like, he, he look like he's looking got... at him like this. Why you keep growing it? What? <laughs> <laughs> like yo, your stuff with a fade is looking at yourself with an afro like bro. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, hey, that's the look. Bro. Oh boy, give the people at the pole when they don't put enough chicken in his bowl. Come on, man. I'm going to sell that as an NFT one day. I'm going to sell this yeah, picture. Yeah, I didn't change the name to Chile. Hey, 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 hey don't boy. That ain't going to be an NFT. That's going to be an N F F F F F F F F F F. Hey, hey. No, hey. That's going to be an N F A T. <laughs> that's the NFAT for sale, man. NFAT. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, that's the face, Doughboy. Hey, but look, but CP, the good thing about Ali getting canceled by HBO Max, he put his own special out independent that he put his own money behind, 
and he gets all the money from there now. So you get forced into being an entrepreneur. When somebody don't fuck with you, you got to fuck with yourself. So I fuck with Ali Sadiq, but I also fuck with HBO Max. I'll I take that check, please. I'm not wrong. I fuck out. with Ali Sadiq, though, heavy, man. That's man, that man been putting nigga. quality con- consistency for over the well, He over 20 years in, you know. Billy, hey, you know, nigga, that's, that's the OG right there. That's who I run my shit by. When I I'm, can't, when I'm hey, listen, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, it, it, I wouldn't be the comedian I am today doing stand up. It wasn't for Ali, man. Don't put so. that on Ali, man. We we like Ali. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my parents watch it. I, 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 I parents. Your parents will like it. If you got parents that still living, go watch it with them, bro. It's a dope ass. It's a throwback to some 80 shit that you remember. I'm gonna watch, remember, it. I'm you know gonna watch it tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very seamless, man. It just it goes, and you're like, damn, this, this motherfucker talked about one thing. He's <laughs> one of like. He might be one of the like he's one of the best storytellers in the game. Like his stories are 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 unparalleled. Like yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, really. His his Mexican got boots. The joint that he got. Oh yeah, about the oh, oh. oh. It's, like, it's like it's, it's Ali, uh. me, Bill Cosby. <laughs> <laughs> who, te- who tells the best stories? Dave, Ch- Dave Chappelle tells good stories too. They've been there somewhere too, but mainly me, Ali. <laughs> me, nigga, shit. Hey, nigga. hey, hey, man, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Like, shit, I, I think it's dope, man. I encourage everybody to produce their own special at least once. Man, do do it for yourself, man. Had the freedom oh, to you say like that. Billy, do that shit once a week. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, Billy got, Billy got thirty eight. You got thirty eight specials, right? <laughs> He's like, my special this week is. Can you believe they forgot my fries? A burger king. <laughs> <laughs> An hour is <laughs> with impossible <laughs> outtakes. Like impossible game, outtakes right? too. It's <laughs> anything is special. These outtakes are impossible, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I got. We, we all, how many how many of y'all of course have uh daughters in in in, I in... have daughters. Okay. I have one. Pretty have much everyone has daughters. daughters. So I'm not sure y'all saw what happened with Diddy, uh 15 year old having a uh uh apparently he was on the Ellen show. I got a full clip right here, but I this one to y'all y'all see this. So what y'all think? My my daughter's only 15. I don't They're date. not dating. No, they're not not that they better not be dating right now. <laughs> They're 15. They've got to have boyfriends or girlfriends or something. That That's an age you start, like, being interested. Ellen. I didn't know that. <laughs> Ellen. How old were you when you first started getting interested in... I was wild. I was yeah. different. I was from a whole nother time. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. That's what I'm saying. Oh, my God. They're, cheer- Ooh. Are they, they're cheerleaders, right? No, I really thought that the, um, they don't start dating until, like, like, 17, right? When do when do when do girl when do they start dating? Oh my God! <laughs> he about to go home. Like fourteen, they have to have boyfriends. Have you met them yet? No, they don't. They don't have any boyfriends. Well, you're 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 confused now. Yeah. <laughs> so, you, fellas, you, all right. Let me no. speak on this first. Okay, uh, yeah, go ahead, be little. I had a girlfriend, and should I had a girlfriend fifth grade? Sixth no, grade? we talking about. <laughs> so, all right, so hold on, but look, I had a girlfriend early, so you had yeah, a girlfriend like, in fifty sixth grade, like the same girl. Uh, nope, different girl. Okay, okay. But I had, but I, I had a girlfriend. A player, you say what? Seventh grade, I had one for show eighth grade, and then beyond, I had them. But uh, now that the shoe is on the other foot, and I have girls, uh, I don't know, bro, because my fifth through shit, really fifth through eighth. Shit, I ain't do nothing. I ain't do nothing that was like sexually explicit or nothing like that. Eighth, uh, eighth grade going into ninth, niggas got busy though, fingering girls and shit. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, Lord, Jesus. The move out there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to I tell me, y'all got daughters. So that's, I know, that's I know, I know. So it's like, so it's not, and now it's like the shoe was on the other foot. Right. And uh, man, I know one of my girl, one of my girlfriends in seventh grade, she had her dad in her life, and. Um, I couldn't get I couldn't get busy with that, so thank God for him. Uh, I don't know, man. She's about to get real. I was out here. Hey, 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 but Billy, I hey, but Billy about to see it before before me and CP. So no, no, I take it back. No. 
I'm already going through it right now. So, so let me tell you. So listen, so I started dating. I started dating for real when I was like 15. <laughs> like I, I used to have crushes on chicks, but it wasn't nothing serious till I was 15. I started smashing at 15. Um, as far as my daughter, my daughter's 16 now. So I've always raised her to just be emotionally responsible. Let her know, don't trip off of that shit. It'll come when it comes. But she got into her first relationship when she was 16. She's in it right now. She's been in it for about six months. I've met the dude. He's a cool little dude. Um, and I think just the toughest thing about us as fathers is just we be worried about these dudes. Like, man, these dudes, like, I don't want them to say or do this. But I feel like if we raise our daughters to have high standards, like, if I'm walking with my daughter, like, she won't walk in the door if she's walking with a dude. Like, she'll wait for the door to be open. Like, it's just certain levels of standards that I'm talking her about, like, you know, respecting herself and valuing herself. So I think if you have a good line of... Yo, boy, it's really preaching right now. If you teach your daughter to have respect for herself, the uh, the person that she choose to date will normally come with those requirements because that's what she expects within herself. So I really I really appreciate that. Let me know if you guys have daughters and let me know how would you handle this situation. The communication with your daughter, and you know, but yeah, my daughter's sixteen and is currently dating, and it's. Uh, it's a hard adjustment. I'm gonna tell you, man. It's like, in my opinion, bro, we got to, we got to raise these daughters to, to, to just kind of have the kind of understanding with their father that they can come to us for anything. You know what I'm saying? I think that um, to treat them like they're not human is to set them up to be behind and to be stifled and to be lame. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you know, you don't want that because you didn't want that for yourself. And it's it's a hard pill to swallow, but it's like you just you have to you got to let them grow and 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 and, and go, you know what I'm saying? And and you know you just it's just I tell people all the time, especially when they get to high school age, man, be monitoring them, but don't forbid them to live just so you can see what kind of kids you got for real. Because after high school, you got to send them out into the world, college, and all of that. Pay attention to high school. Not always telling them no, just seeing, you know, how what they want to do and how they want to play it. Because, you know, shit, I know when I was a kid, I did what the fuck I wanted to do regardless. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, nigga, if you don't think that's going to be the next generation, then you're crazy. So, you know, you better, you know, um, you know, yeah, you better, you better shit, you better get with it. Yeah, you're gonna get left behind. You know I can tell. See, I can tell you used to be outside like a motherfucker boy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, niggas who be humble about their daughter used to be hoes. <laughs> <laughs> Billy, <Really? laughs> uh, you know, you know the funny part is, uh, I'm I have uh, four daughters at this point, and. Ooh, I mean, mm, I'm, mm. Uh, the approach that I'm I'm kind of going with it now is just like I'm not preparing them to deal with men. I'm also talking to them about just relationships in general because sometimes we can be so overbearing with them not being around any guys that they don't see that these girls have these attachments and these bonds and these relationships that turn into stuff. And I've seen that more than anything out of my friends is their daughters be having these many relationships with these other girls. So I just tell them like, look, man, uh. Talk to me. I, I I agree. Talk to me about what's going on. Y you ain't did nothing. I ain't did. So there's no judgment here. I like, rather you talk. Literally. To me. Lip lip. Hilarious. Hey, 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 like daddy, daddy got fingered at the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I can't with you niggas, man. <laughs> you think that never happened to daddy? <laughs> All right. I, I walked into that one, huh? Oh, oh, no, no, no. Hey, hey, you. Hey, what time is it? Yeah. Hey, you, what time is it? It's time to motherfucking speak time, man. I want to ask Ronnie a question before we move on, though. Ronnie, you, you of course, you have a son. Oh, and, she, and congratulations to Billy. You're about to have a son, if I'm not mistaken, right? Shout out to Billy, man. You, sons are... Yes. Sons Sons, yeah. watch what you do, man. Watch kids, they, all this shit we talking is cool, but they watch how you do and how you treat people, and they pretty much emulate the stuff you do. So I'm trying to just walk 
my path correctly because they copy all my fuck shit. It's like, God damn it. So I got to, it's like shit I can fix. I can see it immediately when a six year old is doing it. I'm like, God damn. So, you know, the, and, uh, and also I have a son on the spectrum as well. So his kind of discernment is like off, but he seems like he's being funny when he's like, he really don't give a fuck. So I got to teach you like, no, nah, Campbell, don't call the lady fat. You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's a lot of, I got, I got a big spectrum of how I got to treat each kid and, you know, I it's pretty much lead by example, man. It's like because now we more than never, we ain't never been able to look at our parents' old Instagram posts and Facebook posts. They can look up a paper trail of all the fuck shit that we was thinking at any day over Rash. ten years, fifteen years worth of social media, you know what I'm saying, paper trail. So be mindful. All your kids are gonna see all your shit you done did. That's all I'm saying. Yep. Facts, <laughs> facts, facts. It's facts. All right. Well, I think that was a great conversation about, you know, just parenting. I feel like, yeah, the been parenting gets brought up a lot on this this podcast. Because at the end of the day, once y'all leave here, y'all, y'all get y'all back to, back Somebody to your parents. Somebody in the chat yeah. said, I got a pot of chili on simmer. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think this is probably the last topic we're going to hit is this one right here. The oh June my God. Oh, ice cream situation. Yeah. Yeah. The Juneteenth ice cream. The funny thing great, great is, now you make it worse, and you know Ben and Jerry's like, "Woo!" And that shit fuck around and be delicious, but somebody racist get caught eating it. Like, I'm sorry, I just like the flavor. I don't give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> I just like the flavor. They, they did cancel it. Uh, also, Ron, Ron gave me a shout out to Aurora Woods Jr. who got pulled into it. Uh, shout, out to, shout out to him. Uh, I got, we got a video for Roy Woods talking about it. Y'all want to watch that? He'll give us a little bit more breakdown exactly how it went down. So let me get that. Can Can somebody explain to me how I became the, the face of the anti-Juneteenth ice cream movement. I didn't demand Walmart for. I was cracking jokes like everybody else. <laughs> the fuck did I do? They made me the fucking thumbnail of the art. Like I woke up and formed the Juneteenth movement or some shit. I didn't. I just tweeted. And then I got that picture from Only Child. And yes, Only Child, I'm dragging you into this too. It's just not fair. <laughs> Hey, are you guys starting to see the power of social media and how yeah, crazy? Nigga, that is that is like lightning speed fast. Shout out to Roy Rule. That Roy Wood, that's a great look for him. But that's crazy that that went viral that fast. And he got an apology from fucking Walmart. That's insane. That's crazy because, you know, like, but that just shows you where Roy Wood is at. But I know, like, Doughboy has been trying to get lettuce and spinach canceled for like 10 years. <laughs> And, and they're not even listening to you. You know what I'm saying? And lettuce and spinach still coming out. <laughs> Kale and all kind of stuff. And here he is. He said that tweet about ice cream and it's gone, man. Yeah, get your up, no boy. He did a Shut tweet. Up, he did a tweet that responded quicker than they do when you want like somebody to check you out. Like that you can't even get a clerk that quick at Walmart. Like they got all machines now and don't nobody work there no more. It's just that's crazy. That bitch is a I, kiosk. I think the problem that Walmart made though is that they felt that they had to uh, the the authority to pick out the flavors for something as personal to black folks as Juneteenth. Like, what did they put in there? What did it taste like? Ribs? It's like the board. Ribs. Huh? Who the fuck was on the board for that meeting to say, "All right, guys, exactly. you know, they, coming up. They said Juneteenth is coming up. Red velvet cake and cheesecake. That's what they like. They'll love this. It's like, like no, nah, fuck that. We need Juneteenth slavery ice cream. That's what the fuck we need. On Juneteenth. Who the fuck made this Rastafarian uh box ass ice cream? The fuck? Can I tell you Art department. I'm trying to go Niggas. get me a, a cart tonight before Walmart take them off the shelves. I need to see what it's all about. I need to eat some of this freedom. Listen, man. It's ice cream. It's ice cream. Oh. No, it's bigger than ice cream, CP. It's bigger, We're bigger than, than ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> I'm yeah, saying. Why why do they always get to profit off of black trauma, bruh? Hold, hey, on, hold on. First of all, who picked that swirl red velvet cheesecake right. with the black flavor? Like right. yeah. That yeah. Was all just, it was like, well, I got it. You know hey, the black hey, hey, it's it's okay. Okay. Hey, see the see the blood You know that they better be off he didn't chew and say watermelon flavored ice cream. No, that would have sent everyone crazy. It was a white girl in the office with the Johnny Cake plus eight T-Bars haircut. 
with a black son, with a half black son was like, I know what we like. I know what they like. I got it. Don't even worry about it. Look, hold on. <laughs> hold on, though. The fact that the matter is, the fact of the matter is, it's a business. We never exploit their shit. They only exploit ours. What they're telling us and they're showing us that it ain't illegal to get on here and exploit their shit. We just got to actually do it. What's wrong with school shooter, um, school shooter candy hey. pop? Hey. You know what I'm saying? What's wrong? With, I mean, shit. Let's let's keep it real. Let's let's you know let's let's do um uh 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 rape and pillage ropes of uh, for candy. You right. know what I'm saying? Like dog, like we could do that too. We could do that too. Why do, I just I don't understand. Like with with this and with slave movies every fucking year, I just don't understand why they get to keep doing it and why we keep accepting it. Like, why is that cool to be like Juneteenth ice cream? These are the flavors we feel represents the freedom. And we gonna make some money off of it, and niggas ain't getting shit. And no they boy. dropped it when they keep... running for governor in Georgia. We trying to get Stacey Abrams in office, and they dropped this shit. We like word. That's what it's a distraction. But, they trying to no, they trying to get rid of critical race theory in schools, and they was gonna use this. Ice January sixth vanilla on the chat. In the chat. Yep. Let's get exactly. some January sixth exactly. fucking vanilla. Let's let's get Understand that. Understand this. Understand this. It's only a distraction because we choose the number one. Put our focus on it. And number two, if if nobody ever bought a curtain, they would a, a carton of this. They would know better than to make it. Like dog, we keep fighting over the wrong shit. Like dog, like yeah, bro, they still sell Confederate flags. They still sell them. They have, the store. They have a whole store of that. of that. They have a whole store of them shits. Like it's you understand what I'm saying? It's like bro, this ain't new. But I'm just saying we got to start somewhere, man. They got to stop being able to capitalize. Are black. I say the next time they come out bro. with a slave movie, we don't go watch that shit. Bro, listen, dog. This how I be, bro. We all get together, be like, all right, we're gonna all go get our credit together to start LOCs and, and Iron Seas and, and C Corps, S Corps, and businesses. Yeah, and hundred of us. We walk into the building, and then somebody say, hey, wait a minute, they got nigger ice cream over there, and then <laughs> niggas jump out of line, and they like, yeah, let's go over here and be mad. And we like, what the fuck, nigga? We got, we got a plan. We we on a mission. We can, we, can, we, can, we can make a lot more changes if we focus on what the fuck our, our real mission is. They're going to keep throwing shit at us. True. Imagine that. Okay. Any game show. You ever watch Ninja Warrior? All them fucking obstacles? They throw obstacles, nigga. But the, the, but the main goal is to press that button at the end. That's the main goal. All yeah. the other shit is just an obstacle. Right. Yeah. You got a big ass nose, but the but but the nose is black. Now your ass stop and say no. Y'all see this nose? Boom! Your ass falls in the water because you worry about the goddamn nose. Nigga, get the fuck past that shit. That's like, bro. They don't even gotta hit us or do none of that bullshit with the dogs. All they gotta do is just release some ice cream. Have niggas off work, stressed out, fucking uh 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 blood pressure high as hell. Nigga, I don't know, man. You, you are okay. You are right. There are bigger fish to fry, but in the scheme of things, I do get frustrated when it always be blatantly obvious that they get over on black trauma. It pisses me off. Yeah. It's supposed. Yeah. It's designed it's to piss you off. I it's think it's built on black trauma. It's designed to piss us off. Four hundred years without getting paid, and that was that was a hundred percent profit. Cotton for the world. And they right. still got the touch, the feel of cotton commercials. I be tweeting them all the time. Y'all be saying red. Yeah, nigga. You never seen the touch, the feel of cotton. No, that, that, only nigga, got... that shit still. They got somebody got a. It's a. It's a business still of cotton, nigga. We don't get none of that. <laughs> so, uh, and I guess I always want to go and say this. Of course, CP brought it up about the school food and everything else like that. I'm not sure if we all heard reports about what happened in uh, Uvalde, Texas. Uh, and I, I, elementary had there was another shooting at elementary, which is absolutely insane. Once again, my condolences to the families, uh, parents affected in Texas. This need to stop. This has happened so many times. Like, come on now. I, I, that is crazy. That is crazy. That, yeah. So, my, 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 my thought, condolences to the yeah. families. Yeah. Thoughts and prayers to the families that, you know, the families who and lost, the families lost their loved Buffalo, too, man. The Buffalo and of course, the families who lost, we, we didn't really talk about that as well, man. This, that's it's crazy. And it's, it's, getting, it's getting ridiculous and yeah. it's getting very, very obvious that these people, they prioritize a lot of things over the lives of not only the people of color in this country, but also... It was a black school or a white school? Safety of their own children. It don't even matter. It was a human school. It, you yeah. know what I'm saying? The dude, yeah, it was, the it dude, was an elementary at the end of the day, though. People like, that's crazy. crazy. The dude that shot up the school was a uh, was a Mexican dude. I guess he had a his name was Salvatore. I don't know if that was like a what Hispanic name. That uh, was. Yeah, he, Salvador Ramos was his name. Yeah, yeah, it's like, bro, and I don't fuck his name. We ain't gonna say his name no more. Yeah, the bottom yeah. line is, you know, yeah. um, 
things could be so much easier in this country as it pertains to our safety and the measures and the efforts are just not being met for real by the politicians that we put in office. And it's like, y'all want that black vote. Y'all want this vote. Fuck y'all and y'all vote till we get safety for our kids. There's no reason why, nigga, I had to hug my kids so hard today when they got home from school, bro. They don't even know why. It's like, bro, I, I shouldn't feel like my kids is going off to fucking Afghanistan because they want to go to school. Yeah, I shouldn't feel like, like they coming home every day, like, like, like they coming home from some shit. It's like, oh, that's whack, bro. And I'm sick of that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's like, at the end of the day, man, like, um, you know, just as yeah. a black person, I'm like, man, I want to get my kids into a black school where I feel safe. That's how I feel. Yeah, that's, that's how I feel. I'm from Detroit. I went to Detroit Public Schools, DPS. Somebody might have got shot on the weekend, but yeah. not no, not at the fucking school. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, real, like we was safe, dog. Like, like, nigga, and I know the hoodest of hood niggas would never think about shooting them no goddamn school. You know what I'm saying? Right. And these punk ass, these, 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 these weak punk ass white supremacists who hate black people so bad, but will not go into the areas where the real dangerous black motherfuckers is at. So you go to Buffalo and shoot up a bunch of old people. My nigga, if you hate black people so much, go to the fucking, go to the trap. Go to, go to where them niggas got that shit at. You know what I'm saying? And you go niggas the, in the hood who want to kill somebody. Go to the Bronx. Go to the Bronx. Exactly. What I'm saying is this, dog. We are fucking innocent bystanders caught in the middle of some bullshit. For yeah. nothing. And they and the they gun laws, they keep they keep letting everything be legal, bro. And and the thing is, too, y'all got to stop buying these little jail guns for your kids, man, that look like a real Glock with the with the drum on it. I don't know if y'all seen this. They got the little pellets that like shoot out jail, but they look so real. Somebody put it up. was like, they're trying to kill the babies, and that shit doesn't happen already. A little boy tried to prank his homeboy with a mask on, pulled up with the blizzy. Somebody hit him and hit him. You know what I'm saying? So it, rest in peace to those kids. And we got to do better, man. This shit is stupid. Yeah, shit yeah, is man. wicked. It's so much shit designed to take us out, bro. And we don't need to do it ourselves. That, that shit is, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I was so glad I didn't take my kids to school today. They was with me today. I had them, I had them, took them to the dentist. I was like, God damn, I'm so glad I was here with me. Yeah, so, God, that shit, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. Bro. It's yeah. just like, man, you know, my heart really, really, really um, just is just hurt for those families, man, because, you know, man, like, I, you know, the most innocent person in the world be kids, man. Like, you yeah. ever just, anybody who got kids, even if you got kids in your family, just looking at them is like, damn, dog, like, you know, life is like, at that point in life, life is all figured out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's kids and old people who got their shit together emotionally and spiritually you know what i'm saying you know it's just like man it's just it's very unfortunate man yeah but, and, um, uh, another a rest in peace another rest in peace to marcus Collins, man they had his uh his home going service today uh rest in peace prayers out to his wife and kid man i think they had another ceremony in chicago too one in atlanta one in chicago so you know we lost, the, we lost the brother man shine shoe shine shoe shine Oh yeah, I, I see. I see the uh, the thing you just sent me, Billy. I'm not sure if I can get it on there real quick. Yeah, they they they, they handing out these Rico charges. They ain't stopped doing that. It's mm -hmm. another one. They got they got some more niggas. Who? Uh, what's the rapper name D is uh, D thing Z thing, D -thing. A, and other 22s indicted on 65 counts. The niggas Who's from New that? York. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. A Bronx, a Bronx Joe rapper. God damn. Yeah, he's he talking about he's the only real rapper. rapper. Yeah, he, they got his ass. Nigga, this is an open. If, if the, it's got to be an open call to the rappers, niggas got to. They got. It's an open season on getting these rappers locked up. But look, you can't go after all about, of them. You can't make a song about the people you really kill and be like, right. and do do the video and then do the reenactment and then drop the weed pack that say the person name and then be like, and then be like, I was just rapping. Nah, they Somebody they niggas, get, these niggas snitching. Niggas got to just start rapping about something else. Like we got that we can't. And I, am I the only person that feels like this, or is this my age showing? Where we at, like, with when shit happened, like, in Buffalo and with black people being under attack, I really don't even be wanting to hear that shit about niggas killing niggas so much no more. Like, at some point, I'll just be like, I don't really want to hear that right now. I'm not saying I never will, but I'm just like, it's overkill. Like, nigga, we already got everybody else trying to kill us. Like, I don't want to hear about us trying to kill us and white, celebrating it. White people kill white like people, it but they don't report it. We, you kill who you live by. Right. I just don't want to hear it. I just don't the music. I don't. Saying, I'm saying it's a choice of what they show us. It's a it's a calculated choice of what, what it's seen. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, 
We need to be rapping about shit like smoking brisket and 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 turkey mix and shit like that, though, boy. That's what's gonna exactly. do that. I fuck with exactly. Some brisket, man. Come from yeah. a good recipe of what's the best barbecue recipe out there? Like, <laughs> I put my brisket on low when I put them on. Low and slow, Sweet baby rays. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, you put that out on Memorial Day. That shit is Sweet baby yeah. rays. That shit be hard. <laughs> I got on a brisket outfit on right now, nigga. This is. <laughs> Barbecue eating shit. Hey, y'all barbecuing this weekend? Hell I'm yeah. yeah. I'm going to DR hey, this weekend. Man. And, I, and, and nigga, I'm going to just put this out there for anybody that want any smoke for real. I challenge any of you niggas to a barbecue off. You for real? You, you got to shut, shut up. up. You shut up. up. Nigga, what the Hey, CP, 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 you better, CP, CP, you better ask, ask to hear about me, you nigga. You know how I rock. You was there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can be next, <laughs> nigga. Don't be the next contestant on that summer jam screen. And this, that's been another episode of Rose Grid. <laughs> <laughs> I am your host, Brandon Lewis. Before we get out of here, we always do what we do. We let the people, we let the people know what we got going on for the week, man. Starting off with CP, let the people know. What up, though, man? Y'all know what it is, man. Uh, this week, uh, if you're in L.A., uh, Crack 'em Up Thursday is going to be lit. Um, you know, we're doing the Crack 'em Up, and then uh, that's it, man. I got a bunch of meetings, man. I got a bunch of dope shit going on. Hope everybody have a fire-ass week. And, uh, yeah, man, Doughboy wants absolutely zero smoke. On hey, I'll set it. We're going to set it up. We're nigga, it please. Up. Nigga, hey, I, I will put a Peloton next to the grill. Yo, yo ass wouldn't even show up. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. You can't give me not to pull up there. I was like, you got if you got the bike over there, I can't come. <laughs> let, 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 let the people I was know, gonna Mike. come taste it, man, but shit, he got the bike on the grill. Hey man, listen. Uh next week we doing another great episode of Roast Me. I'll be there. Check that out. Check out Did You Miss the Podcast online. Still there, still up and uh working on a new project. Toxic by nature. It's gonna be episode uh special number twelve. For me, so uh, writing that thing right now, man. Probably working out to shoot that. Probably out in L.A., man. And uh, hey, man, any smoke you want, though, boy, in that barbecue pit, holler at me. Okay. I got all of that. Hey, okay. Texas, Texas okay. is real with that barbecue, my boy. I'm, like, hey, hey, I'm here to be the test test. I'm letting y'all know right now. Okay. I, I love some barbecue. So. <laughs> I want to go to CP. Gonna put the pepper uh, on. No, boy, let the people know, man. Okay, oh, you can you can see me every morning on the morning cup of Del morning show. On my YouTube, I am Doughboy TV, and on my Instagram. And since niggas want to keep talking, any nigga that wants smoke, we can really do a roast me. I'll host it, and I, nigga, any, any nigga that want it, you can get that action. Any one of you niggas, and we can do it at my crib, hey. and I will beat any one of you. Hey, niggas. all right, Doughboy, how about this then? I'll really roast you on the how about grill. This then? How about this then? How about this then? How about on we do show. it like this? How about you shut your ass up and don't say shit else, and then we'll let the real niggas be on the grill this weekend? How about how about we do it like that? I got five hundred. Oh, I got five hundred dollars for any nigga that wants smoke. Five hundred dollars, nigga, 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 make it fifteen, nigga. You get all niggas. <laughs> Run it. Hey right, man, I'm gonna be on the Run more they get Let away. Know, man. This weekend, more they get away, man. We're gonna be in Puerto Plata, D- Dominican Republic. Me, Tyler Chronicles, uh, Mr. Bank Shot, Daphne Springs, Mimi Simpson. I did it last year. They booked me right on the spot last year because I did it during the COVID year. I try to book myself a vacation with a show. Where I can take my wife and go kick it, put my feet in the water. If y'all see Kankle Gang thotty pictures this weekend, don't mind me. I'm just recharging my battery because I got a lot of projects coming up, man. And uh, uh, shout out to uh, Jay Ski. We doing his um his uh, birthday party in uh, Richmond, Virginia, man. January uh, June fifth, Richmond, Virginia, and July twenty second, man. Uh, the Ha Ha Mafia, me, Tyler Chronicles, Ti, Erica Duchess will be at the Tacoma. Uh, comedy club, Nate Jackson's club. We're gonna be out there July 22nd, 23rd. Finally, get to go out there and support black owned business. I can't wait, man. Can't wait to. I love coming to the west coast, man. Appreciate y'all for booking me out there, man. I appreciate it. Hey, man, I love Nate, man. Love T. Yeah, I get out there before me, man. That's fucked up, man. Last but not least, man, I'm your host, Brandon Lewis. Uh, follow me on Instagram at who is Brandon Lewis. I just dropped. The motherland edition of the Lewis brand. So go right now to my Instagram and to the highlights. Uh, I, I got them in my highlights so you can choose. And uh, hey, what's the show? Us the shirt again? This is this ain't this ain't the motherland edition though. Okay, I don't gotta so. send somebody to detention. Uh, I got. I, 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 I
saying nothing. <laughs> this is the brand, though. This is the brand, but uh, the Motherland Edition drop. I got, I got dope ass uh, Black Power Movement uh, items. So uh, check that out, man. Support us, each and every individual on this podcast. Follow us right now, Caffeine, before we close this out. At Comedian CP, at Billy Sorrells, at I Am Doughboy. Oh, man. At Ronnie Jordan, at Big Bang Lewis. Follow us right now. Give us some more follows so we can build this platform bigger and bigger, individually as well as a collective. And tune in each and every other Wednesday on Caffeine to watch Roast Me Season 5. And tune in every Tuesday, 6 p.m., 9 p.m. Eastern, to watch Roast This live on Caffeine. Tell a friend to tell a friend. To jump in, tune in. We talk shit about the culture and what's really relevant in the world. I'm your host, Brandon Lewis. That's CP. That's Billy Terrell. That's Ryan Jordan. That's the, that's the boy. And behind the scenes, we will see you next week. Peace. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, Billy, I see your thing. You want me to play that? Or what's the point? What's, what's, what's the one? I see this. Okay. It is. Oh, it is. A wonderful, wonderful podcast. Wonderful session. First off, I would like to say once again to those affected in Texas, my condolences to the family and uh, friends at this time, yes. And I must say that the whole situation with Walmart and everything, you know, I think what CP had said is that it's just a distraction for us to talk about something else without um, disregarding what's really at hand at this time because a lot of things have been happening over the past few, over the, all of this, the all of this time actually because sometimes we, we just got to stay focused to really understand what is happening uh, and that's the only way we as a community can get something done if we actually focus and stick together. But um. I must say that I really enjoyed this episode. I cannot wait for you guys to listen to the next episode of Roast Me. Episode 5 was awesome. Episode 5 with um, Baron Davis, he did well. I will react to the recap for that, for Roast This. So please be on the lookout for that. Until next time, this is your boy, Steph Reacts. And we will meet again. Peace.